We start by declaring a fitness app class, this groups the user's fitness data and the actions that operate on it, which makes the program easier to reason about. The constructor runs when you create a fitness app object, its job is to prepare the internal state so the app is ready to record steps, calories, and workouts. We use a single dictionary self.data to keep everything together. Steps and calories start at zero and workouts starts as an empty list. This makes lookups and updates straightforward. Add underscore steps prompts the user for a number and adds it to the running total of steps, a simple input state update pattern. This adds the provided steps to the steps counter inside self.data, updating the persistent state of the object. Add underscore calories works the same way as add underscore steps but for calories burned read input, convert, then update the stored total. We prompt for the number of calories and convert it to an integer so it can be summed into the existing total. Add the provided calories to the calories entry in self.data so the cumulative total grows over time. Another short confirmation to reassure the user the input was recorded. Add underscore workout captures the name of a workout session and appends it to the workouts list, a simple way to track exercise types or sessions. We ask the user for a short name, e.g., run or yoga, that will be stored in the workouts list. Appending the workout name to self.data, workouts, preserves the sequence of activities so the user can review them later. A friendly confirmation so the user knows the workout was recorded. Show underscore summary neatly prints the accumulated stats, steps, calories, and a readable list of workouts so the user can quickly see progress. We print a header with a blank line above it to visually separate the summary from previous output, making it easier to read. Print the total number of steps recorded so far by reading self.data. Steps, straightforward reporting of stored state. Similarly, print the cumulative calories stored in self.data, calories, so the user can see caloric effort. For workouts we join the list into a comma-separated string if there are entries, if the list is empty we show none, this keeps the output concise and informative. The run method provides the interactive loop that ties all the other methods together, it's how the user interacts with the app. We use an infinite loop so the menu reappears after each action until the user chooses to exit, a common pattern for CLI utilities.
Print the compact menu in one block so the user sees all available actions at a glance. Read the user's choice as a string so it can be compared against the menu options below. If the user types 1 we call add underscore steps, to prompt for and record walking steps, concise inline branching keeps the loop compact. If 2 is chosen we call add underscore calories, to record calories burned. If 3 is chosen we call add underscore workout, which prompts for and stores a workout name. If 4 is selected we display the current summary by calling show underscore summary. If the user chooses 5 we break the loop, which cleanly ends the interactive session and returns control to the caller. For any other input we print an error message and let the loop continue so the user can try again. Finally, we create a fitness app instance and immediately call .run to start the interactive menu so the user can begin recording activity.